To start this teen room makeover, I decided to make a quick trip to Dee Dee's and Ross. I just know that they have good storage items and they're all at a really good price. So we went to go look around and I did purchase this storage bin on wheels. Towards the end of the video, I will show you how I used it, where I placed it. So stick around because I am going to give you a tour of how I organize a very small space. This room that I am... Um, making over is an 8 by 12. My previous video here on YouTube actually shows the process of how we made over that room. I also have an Instagram. It's life.withhoney. I did put a reel up there of the process of making over the room. So we are actually going to start working on my oldest son's bedroom tomorrow. We're also going to rip up the carpet. We're going to put new baseboard, ceiling fan, all that good stuff. So if you would like to subscribe to my channel, if you like this kind of content, stick around because I do have some of that coming up. Um, I would love to have you join my little YouTube family. It's all fun over here, positive vibes. So yeah, but I'm really enjoying my shopping trip. This was actually really late at night. I was by myself. The store was quiet and it was just really nice to look at everything that they had and I was getting ideas. I wasn't pressuring myself because if I didn't find what I wanted, then I could just go look at another Ross. But I ended up finding something that I liked and here in a little bit, I'm going to share it with you guys. Of course, while I was at Ross, I had to make a stop in the shoe aisle, you know. <laughs> so here's what I ended up picking up from Ross. It's these really cute Sperry's for 25 bucks. I also bought my son a little faux plant to put in his room just to give it a little pop of green because I'm really not putting anything on their walls. I'm just not doing it this time around. <laughs> and this cute little accent pillow. I actually saw practically an identical pillow like this at Walmart for $14.99 also. And this is a little area rug I ended up going with. It's a little 4x6 medium rug. So this is what his room looks like right now. After we did the makeover, we just put his mattress back in here until the bed arrived, which this is the bed that we ordered from Walmart. And this is the dresser that we ordered from Walmart. When I ordered this, I didn't know that it was foldable dresser, dra foldable drawers. And I didn't cancel the order because you know what? It had good reviews. Like once I figured out that it was foldable drawers, I looked at the reviews and they were all great. So it ended up working out. So here my sister came over to help me put the bed together because my husband and the boys were on a little weekend getaway. And the next clip I want to share with you is a cute clip with my little niece. Oh, come here, Sissy. Give me a hug. Okay. Hey, can you give me a hug? This little part of the video, we had so many laughs. We couldn't figure out how we wanted to place these pillows. My sister's really good at decorating. So she was like, this great pillow's throwing me off. And I was like, I agree. It's just not working out. <laughs> we ended up figuring it out. It was all fun and games. But yeah, from the moment my sister and I set up this these pillows and this blanket to this moment of the non-skid rug pad and these little felt pads was about two days later. And the reason I waited another two days to keep working on the room is because I was waiting on the dresser drawer to arrive in the mail. 
Once we put this rug and these little felt pads under the bed, it took probably about another five hours before the dresser got here to my front door. So about we took about three to four hours to declutter my son's bedroom. So in the next clip, I'm going to talk about that because you're going to see my living room full of mess. But that's because we decluttered my oldest son's room so we can start working on his little makeover. So don't get scared with my crazy living room. Okay. So this morning was, it was about 10 a.m. when we were putting that, the runner under the rug and that felt under the bed, the legs of the bed. And then after that, we start, I started decluttering my oldest son's bedroom. He helped me and we recorded it. So there'll be a video coming out on decluttering a teenager's bedroom. All that clothes on the bed is clothes that he is not fitting into anymore. So, oh, I have to go through that and, you know, do what I got to do with it. But this is all stuff that, um, some of it he's keeping, some of it he's not. I mean, look, I'm going to show you over here. And like I said, all this is coming in a future video. And so, yeah, we took everything out. Because what we did with, um, my youngest room, we're doing with the oldest room. And we're starting that tomorrow. So, but my point of grabbing the camera is that I'm fixing to unbox this right here. It is the dresser that I ordered for my youngest son's bedroom. So let's unbox it. And I don't even know, I know I'm talking a lot and there's like nothing in front of you, but watch. I just wanted to tell you that when I ordered it, I didn't even realize that it said it was foldable um, drawers. I, I just, I have, see the picture, how the picture looks like it's wooden. I didn't even notice. So let's unbox it. It has really good reviews and that's why I didn't cancel the order. I figured, eh, it's gonna be okay. So um, let's unbox it, okay? Here we go, sorry for talking a lot. So my youngest son's name, his name is Jathan, so I'm just going to start saying their names because I I notice I'm saying my youngest son, my oldest son. Well, my youngest is Jathan and my oldest is Jace. They both start with the J. I start with the J. My husband starts with the J. You know, we're just the J family, I guess. <laughs> That's what I should rename my YouTube, the J family. No, just kidding. So Jathan came over and was going to help me put this together, but I told him, you know, I got it. It was a really small piece. Unlike the bed, the bed, you know, with the longer rails and stuff, it was nice to have my sister here helping me kind of hold it up and put the little bolts in. But this one was very simple to do. One person can definitely do this. And here I'm finally going to see what these little foldable drawers are all about. My little mistake that I didn't read into, but I am pleasantly surprised with them. You can tell right here how it has like a little bit of a thick faux wood part in the front. I'm even knocking to see if somebody answers, but nobody was there. <laughs> Just kidding. And yeah, I really like them. They're sturdy. And Jathan is not hard on his furniture. He's not sitting there, I don't know, beating up his furniture. So these are going to work great for his little room. As I'm finishing up assembling the handles of these drawers, I just want to say thank you for being here for watching my video. This little room remodel has been a long time coming. I'm so thankful that God has blessed my husband and I, well, you know, with the finances to be able to do this for our children, with the health that we have. I'm just thankful. Everything happens in God's perfect timing. And this was the perfect timing for us to be able to do this for our boys. It's really nice that we're able to do this now as they're getting older. They're seeing the hard work that mom and dad have been through and they're able to appreciate it much more. You know, Jathan even told me, thank you for doing this for him. And that was just so sweet. And I'm so glad I'm able to do this for my boys. 
So right here I am adding these little felt to the bottom of the legs of the furniture because since we put that hardwood floor I really want to take care of the floor as much as possible you know we don't just want to get nice things and then ruin them or not be cautious so yeah those little felts really came in handy and here we're just gonna pick up all the mess because whew, it, it's getting a little crazy but it's okay because it's got to get a little crazy before it can get really good all this mess that you see behind me is gonna be gone in about three days hopefully sooner shorter <laughs> I don't know it's gonna be okay And here we are bringing in the little dresser. It's so cute. It just fits perfect in this little space. And we weren't sure if we wanted it catty corner or up against this wall, but we ended up just putting it right next to the bed and it worked out great. These two pieces just worked out so good in this bedroom. Here's what his little bedroom looks like before we put the decor pieces on there. I believe I did mention before that I am not hanging anything on their walls. I'm not hanging anything in Jason's walls and I don't plan on hanging anything on Jace's walls. Jace has a bad habit about putting nails in the walls and hanging up whatever little knickknacks he wants and I don't think that I'm going to let him do that. We need to talk about it. <laughs> so I'm going to show you how these little drawers actually did fit a lot of things. I'm not going to show you what's in there because it's kind of like his little belongings, but I do want to say that this bedroom is 100% decluttered and organized. So in this little basket, we put all his little chargers and whatever little electronic stuff he has, and it's all going to stay in this little basket, nice and organized, and then... Let me see. I think I'm going to show you the drawers, but like I said, I'm not going to show you what's inside of them because it's his own little privacy and I don't want to, you know, show too much of his little belongings. But these little drawers were pretty spacious. It's holding whatever he decided to put in them. I know what's in them and it's all organized, like I said, like some PJs and whatever socks and um, some of them are halfway full. Some of them just have a little bit of stuff. That way he can kind of mess with them and put other stuff in it later. I really, really liked this under the bed storage that I'm fixing to show you. Do you remember I showed you at the very beginning of the clip where we were at Dee Dee's buying these little storage bins on wheels? Well, I bought two of them and they're full of little knickknack stuff. And I am actually going to buy a third one because it will fit in here perfectly and I can put those little clear bins of Legos. So... I wanted to talk to you about the closet. When we updated the room, I asked my husband to move the closet, the clothes rack or the rod up really high. And the reason I wanted to do that was so I could have space. So I wanted to create like a little storage system inside his closet without the clothes hanging right over it. And I was able to do that. I put these clear containers in here and some of it is holding shoes um another part of it is like right here we're gonna put his hangers i told him i didn't want hangers just all over his closet hanging everywhere and then the very top still has a little bit of space where i can put blankets during the winter time this actually popped up on my phone it's a memory from like two years ago so you can kind of see the before and it's still really cute you see but now it just looks so much more fresh and it's more like a little teenage vibe. I love it. I do want to mention that I myself chose curtains to go over the closet. By the way, I need to pull them down and iron them. But I really didn't want a door. We did have a door before, but I just wanted to do something different. And if I want to change it up later, well then I can. But I know I've done a lot of talking. I'm just so happy that you've been here with me or that you made it to the end of the video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe and stick around for more because we are starting Jace's room next. Talk to you later.